Hello guys and welcome back to another Mcrater tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is the real time mod. So as you can see we're in game and the sun is not moving. So this basically, um, the script that I have here will basically get the time of the uh, computer time where the game is running from. So this can be either on the server side or it can be if it's a uh, a LAN, then it's on the host of the LAN. If it's the um, client, then it's just going like a single player, then it's going to be on the server, the, the game side where the game is basically run. So it'll be on the client side of where the game is run. If it's on a server though, it's going to basically be uh, where the servers run rather than individual players. So the script is really cool when it comes down to that because um, you can have extended days for the period of time where the actually the actual game is running from. This means that there is a 24 um, hour day uh, in real lifetime compared to the 20 minutes that it would normally be. Uh, there is a few different things that happen though because uh, the, the game automatically tries to um, make the time move like the sun and stuff like that. I have had to disable the time. So basically this will run the script um, for the game rule to disable the time movement. Weather is still the same. That doesn't change. Um, I didn't touch any of the weather or anything like that. But um, it disables the time so it doesn't kind of glitch a little bit and go forward and then backwards until the right time again. So this basically just allows us to fix that issue. Um, outside of that, uh, it's currently 9 a.m. for me. And um, as you can see, the sun is in the east. It's about right where it needs to be, uh, probably the exact same time. So about 9 a.m. in game as well. If we go, I don't know if I have access to the command, we can fix that quickly. Uh, we can go and enable cheats and we'll just create a LAN quickly. And then what we'll do is we will go ahead and slash um, time and then we'll get the time of day. So that's the time of the day and we will get game time as well. So that w that's basically the same time as because I just created the world. So uh, same exact time as I believe 9 a.m. my time if you were to calculate the difference in how the uh, time is configured for Minecraft. I think zero is 6 a.m. So um, yeah, it's a little bit odd because normal zero would be at midnight, but I had to offset that as well. But outside of that, let's uh, take a look at the script and then we will build it step by step. One thing to note is that we're using a global trigger as well on world tick update. So this is basically where the procedure is running from. So it is just one procedure. That's all there is to this particular mod feature. So if you right click on real time, uh, what we're doing first is we're running it from the server side only. So it doesn't have to run on each individual client, just the server side. So to do that, what you need to do is to go uh, into flow control, grab an if statement, and then you need to go to logic and grab the not block and place that right on your uh, if statement there. And then what you want to do is go, go to world data and then you're going to scroll down until you see is provided remote or world remote client side. And then you want to drop that onto here. So after that, uh, what we need to do is create um, a couple different variables. We have variables for uh, global variables to be exact. So we're going to need to create those uh, before we progress any further. Uh, those are basically last minute, last hour, and last day. So you want to set these to a number variable and you want to set the location, the variable scope, to global map. So this will basically apply the time to the entire game, uh, entire world, uh, the entire, um, all the worlds and stuff like that. And you can just leave the default value to zero. We'll be setting that later on. All right, so once you have those variables, what you want to do is you want to basically test for a few different conditions. So the first thing that you want to do is grab a regular if statement 
place that inside here and then you want to go to logic and grab the light blue one now it by default has just the equal sign you can actually change that so we can just drop that here uh, what I've done is gone and used uh, external inputs so it's like this and then I've basically right clicked on the equal sign and gone to or so that allows us to test for multiple things under any condition so what this part of the code will do is it will basically allow us to test if it is not equal to the same time as the time that we are the game is actually running so we can't go down to the very second of real time because the game doesn't have enough uh, time to actually work with that period but we can do minutes um, we can also do the day and the month so we can actually run those particular things so what we need to do is test if these values the minute the current current hour of the day and the day of the month is not the same as the last last stored uh, variable so that's where the global variables come in we're basically storing that later on when this updates uh, because it's set to zero um, it will always update the first time it's run so we can do this by grabbing a um, logic block for the dark blue and then what we want to do is click on the equal sign and then we want to select the one the equal sign with the cross down the center of it and this basically says uh, in math that it's not equal to uh, without the cross it's basically equal to meaning it's the same as the cross with the dash across it basically is not the same as so we want to select that one and we want to add that to each one of these uh, the next thing what we want to do is go to our time uh, blocks which are date and time and then you want to grab a few of these so we need the minute uh, minutes past current hour so we're going to place that one right here and then what we want to do is go back to the same thing and we want to get the current hour of the day so we want this one right here and then what we want is day of the month so we're going to go back and then day of the month is right here so what this will do is this will render the date of the day that it's currently on. So depending on what day you're on, it will set the day in the Minecraft to that particular number. Um, the current hour of will be set as well, as well as the past minutes. So now we just basically need to get those variables that we've created globally. Now, if you've created the globals after, like while you have the procedure open, you'll have to save it. Uh, while it's not connected because it won't be able to compile there will be an error down here so just make sure to take it off save it and then you can basically reload the thing with the variables implemented so global variables have to be loaded in before uh, you start adding them so to the procedure so after that what you can do is you can go to custom variables and grab a dark blue number one and then you should see your global variables at the bottom here so we want the last minute for the global one here and then we want to get the last hour for this one and then lastly we want the last day so that will be that part all set up now we basically have to assign those very the current uh, time in the computer time to those variables so this is basically the last uh, minute of past hour and we're just going to basically run all these different things and assign those to the variables so we can store it for later use so again what we're doing is we're going to the custom variables we're going to grab the um, block for the last minute last hour and last day and we can actually just clone or duplicate this by right clicking duplicate and we can just drag that down here to speed up some time so we can add those to those blocks here and what this will do is it'll basically just assign it so when we test again it won't constantly be running the script and trying to update every time that it needs to test it's only going to be running the script when these are not equal to the ones that we stored so if the time changes on the hour or minute or whatever then 
then it will run the script, but not like every time, like every tick, it won't run. So that's why we have this part set up. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and test if the, for a game rule, for do daylight cycle, and we need to test if it is true. Now we can actually take this out and we can just have that like that and that would work too. Uh, for simplicity, I'll just basically have that like that. So what we need is we're going to need another if statement. And what this part will do is it will basically allow us to configure the world so it doesn't glitch. Um, now if it was uh, not set to false, then what it would do is constantly roll back to the time every tick so this would kind of cause a problem and it would look really bad and stuff like that so we want to disable the time so it's more smooth and it will constantly just be in that one spot uh, for that whole um, cycle for the entire minute so we need to basically disable that if it is set to true now most of the time when you create a new world it will be set to true so just as a safety precaution, what we need to do is actually set it to false. So what we're going to do is go to world data. And right down here, it says uh, get logic game rule. And we're going to place that right on here. And then what we need to do is search in here for uh, do daylight uh, cycle. It should be somewhere near the top. And you're going to basically just allow it to test if this is true. So this will test if it's true. And then what we want to do is go to world management and there will be a set logic game rule to and then a logic value and then type and then our game rule name. So we want to do set this to false and then we want to basically set the do daylight cycle to false. So that's what we need to do for that part. Now comes in the actual script for running the actual time cycling. So what we need to do here is we need to get um, a local variable. So what this local variable will do is we're going to use one called this minute. And what this one block will do is it will basically get the current time in the um, well, what it's going to do is multiply 1,000 or divide 1,000, uh, which is exactly one hour in Minecraft. And then we're dividing that by 60. So there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? So that's where this is coming in. And then we're multiplying that by the minutes past current hour. So basically what this does is it calculates the exact uh, value for the... Um, uh, for the actual minutes and stuff like that. So we're basically calculating it all with that particular script. And then we're going to run this particular part after. But to do that, what we need to do is actually build that first. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a local variable. Lucky, we already have one. So we can actually use that. So what I'm going to do is go back to local vari or custom variables, add the local variable part. And then what we're going to do is add a math operator and we're going to place that right here. Now you can click on the plus sign and you want to set the asterisk. This will basically use for multiplying. So basically we want to multiply and then what we want to do is get the past current hour and we're going to basically multiply the past current hour with the value on the other side. So the other side we need another math operator and then we're going to divide this. So the slash the forward slash basically means division so what we're going to do is divide that by and then we need a number so we're going to go to math grab a number and we're going to set this to 60 and for the other side what we want to do is grab or set a number to 1000 now there is 1000 minutes or 1000 ticks in a hour for minecraft so we're basically dividing that by 60 and that's the value that we're multiplying the current hour at. So that's basically that part done. So the next thing that we actually need to calculate is the hour of the day. So this one only calculates the minutes. This one calculates the hour. Now this is a little bit different because there is that offset for um, the zero in time. So I had to kind of calculate where the um, six 
is in the for the time and stuff like that it's like 6 a.m and this is basically where this script is going to run because there's like six hours before midnight so we had to calculate exactly and offset the value of the hour to real-time hours and that's where it gets all confusing and stuff so basically what this script right here does is it's going to calculate and get the proper time and offset it to the real-time hour so what we're going to do is we're going to need this particular if statement here it's the one with the else statement and we're going to place that down right here and then we need a logic operator and a dark blue one and then what we're going to do is we're going to set this equal to or less than. And that's the lesson sign, the one facing to the left, and a underscore underneath it. This basically means less than or equal to. And we're going to basically set this to the difference in time. So the difference in time uh, from the Minecraft uh, time is six hours. So we want to basically test if it is equal to or less than six hours in the time and then what we want to do is we want to get the hour of the day so we're going to basically test for that so basically what this will do is if it is equal to or less than six hours in the day it's going to run this script right here if it is greater than six like six uh, thousand ticks then what we're going to do is we're going to basically increase the um or pardon me if it's greater than six o'clock am on computer time then it's going to basically uh, run the alternate script down here and it's going to adjust it for the minecraft version so what this will do is with the this hour we're going to set that variable so again we can create a variable by setting this one we're going to set this hour and then we need a math operator for this and we're going to place that here we need to multiply this so again the asterisk and then we want a math number. So we're gonna say this needs to be 1000 because that is one hour in Minecraft. And then what we need to do is get another math operator. And then we're going to basically set this to subtract. And then what we want to do is set 24 because that's how many hours there are in one real time day. And then we want to basically go ahead and subtract the current hour of the day. So this is basically what will get the right time if it is 6 o'clock uh, in real time or less than that particular time. So anything to midnight. So that's basically what this one will do. The other one down here is going to basically run it if it is over six o'clock so um again because the time difference in minecraft is a little bit different what we need to do is we're just going to duplicate that times it by a thousand and then we're going to place this variable basically swap over the number so it's minus six and we're going to get the time of day ahead so it's basically inverted but we're going to subtract six from the actual day because minecraft has six hours ahead so we have to s subtract it six hours behind so that's basically where this part comes in and then we're multiplying that by the hour so basically this is where we're getting the hour from we're multiplying it by 1000 all right so now that part's all done what we need to do is actually get the day of the month so this is again another variable that we have uh, we have only uh, four variables that we have in this part so we need to get another variable block and we're going to place that down here set this uh this day and this one's really actually simple uh, all we need to do is we need to basically set um a math operator so if we go here multiply uh, the value by 24,000 so basically 24,000 allows us to test for one entire day so 24,000 there is 12 hours in half a day for daytime and there's another 12 hours in the nighttime so that's uh, 12 24,000 ticks in total so we need to multiply the is day of this month which is the one up here by 24,000 and we can get the value of the actual day 
Uh, lastly, we need to combine all these different variables into one mass of variables so we can set the time in our world. So what we're going to do is we're going to then get a logic variable and we're going, or pardon me, a math, math variable and we're going to set this to this time. And then what we're going to do is actually go ahead and create a math operator right here. And then we're going to add the add operation. And we're going to need to do this a couple times. So it has three spaces so we can add our variables to it. Uh, then what we need to do is go to variables, uh, custom variables, and add um, our minute. So we're going to add that one here. And then we're going to add our hour. So this one here, this hour. And then we're going to add this day. And this day will be here. And then this is under this time. So this time is what we use for world management. And then we want to set time to. And then we're going to basically remove the number block because we don't need that. And then what we need to do is actually go ahead to um, custom variables. And then we're going to add the this time to that particular block and what this will do is it'll basically get all the data that we collected here for the current time and then we're going to add it to the world time and com after we're combining all the ticks to the actual this time variable so that's all there is really to it i will provide the script in a um, workspace and uh, procedure so you guys can easily go ahead and download it. Just remember to basically add the last minute, last hour, and last day number variables for the global map to your um, actual workspace before you go ahead and import the procedure or you might run into some issues with um, it not running properly or loading in the global variables. Now, if you do load in the global variables uh, under a different name or whatever, you can always uh, just basically update them using these uh, three particular uh, parts right here for the variables for the global ones and global ones here. Uh, just make sure that there is one for the day, hour, and minute, and then just make sure that they're in the same proper order. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.